Hello and welcome to day five of Advent with the Angels. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. So we're going to connect with the Advent calendar today and bring a message through and then pull a card from the Love and Light Oracle. And number five is about change. So there's changes going on right now. Changes coming into your life and I've already found where number five is. And it's here and it's on the armchair of this child. And what I'm really connecting with you before I open the door, because I always like to kind of channel the energy around the door as well as what's behind the door. Because remember, that's what we need to do. We need to look beyond the surface sometimes and also pay attention to what we're seeing around us as the observer. And then things in our life make sense. So the armchair is about support. And that's really what I'm connecting with. So there could be some healing energy coming in around an arm today. You know, the arms are where we feel our way through life. But I feel this is more about support. So, you know, when we ask for help from heaven, when we give our problems to heaven, when we pray about something, when we exchange the struggle we're going through for peace and solutions, we receive the support we need. Whether that comes in through a reading we watch or someone who gives us something we need or we just receive a boost of energy or something comes in that shows us we are safe, that shows us that we are supportive, that gives us what we need in that moment. And that's what I'm feeling with this number today. Whatever changes you're going through or whatever things are happening in your life, you are always supported. And if you've got time to worry about something, you've definitely got time to pray about it, to bring in an answer, to bring in a solution. And remember, when we pray, we are asking for help. When we meditate or when we calm our minds, we are receiving answers. So if you've asked for help, make sure you're also finding quiet time or time to receive the answers to your question. And they come to you in many ways through a song, through a sign, a symbol, a number sequence, maybe through a reading or something you hear or feel or just intuitively know. But the message coming through today, regardless of what's behind this door, is that you have the support that you need. So don't be afraid to ask for it. Even if that means asking for more money or more time or more help in some way with something you're going through at work or with family. Calling on the angels will open doors for you. And where there are walls, those walls will remove and the doors will open. So you can ask for help about finances, about health, about love about family, anything that's on your mind, anything that's stressful to you or getting to you a little bit or you're concerned about, the angels are there for you. That's why God created them. They are messengers of him so they can assist humanity, so they can help you. And the archangels are non-denominational, which means they can be with everyone at the same time. So you're not robbing someone else of their own support or happiness. They're here for everyone. So they can be with me and you and everyone at the same time. That's what they're here for. And we all have a guardian angel specifically assigned to each of us through our lifetime. We actually have a guardian angel who's with us from the moment we're born to the moment we pass and transition and beyond. And an angel who comes in, a guardian angel who's around us for our spiritual journey too. So you're not alone. Sometimes we feel alone, especially at this time of the year. But we are not alone. We are surrounded by an army of angels and we are surrounded by heavenly love. So if you've got time to worry today, you've certainly got time to pray. Asking for help. You don't need to be religious to pray. Asking for help. Give me strength. That's asking for help. Call on heaven. So what's behind door number five today? We've got a clock. Wow. We've got a clock today. So you have the support you need. And what I'm really getting with this is if you're worried about the timing of something manifesting, maybe you've had enough of the time or you feel time's running out or you're a twin flame and you're thinking, when are we ever going to be in union? When's it going to be our time? If you're concerned about time today, give it to heaven. And you can ask for more support with time. And this is what I'm feeling today. Maybe you're busy today. And you're thinking, oh, I haven't got enough time to do what I need to do. Maybe you're at work, you've got a busy schedule. You're trying to get organized so you can have a big break at Christmas. Maybe you want a couple of weeks off or, you know, you've got some time off or you're going somewhere and you're thinking, how am I going to get all of this done? 
Or you could be thinking about needing more time for something else, like going somewhere, doing something, maybe you're shopping or you're organising something. You can ask Archangel Metatron, the angel of divine timing, to expand your day, to give you more time, and you'll be amazed by the miracles he creates. He can create miracles with time, so time seems to stand still for you. So you have more time. He can speed time up too, but why would you want to speed time up? Let's slow it down instead. Time is the one thing we can't get back. We can make more money. We can make things better. We can make lots of things happen, but we can't make more time. So we have to enjoy everything we've got. And this is also a big message to be more present and to be more in the moment. Because when we're in the moment, we've won. In the now, if you spell now backwards, N-O-W, what does it spell? It spells one, W-O-N. So when you're in the present moment, you've won because you're not being controlled by ego. Ego controls the past that can't be changed or the future that hasn't yet occurred. And it brings in anxiety, tension, stress. But in the now, we are safe and whole. And we feel fine because we know we're taken care of. So focus on breath work today. Breathing in and out three times. Breathe in through the nose. And release through the mouth. So just doing that three times brings you back into the now. It takes you away from the past and the future. And it pulls you back into the now. And you feel better. So if you're stressing over time today, give it to heaven. And the first step is by breathing and coming into the moment. And then you realise, what am I worrying about? What am I stressing about? There's plenty of time. You have enough time to do everything you've come here to do. Otherwise, you wouldn't come here to do it. There's always a plan. God's in charge of timings. There's always timings at work, divine timing. So have faith, be patient. And patient doesn't mean you're looking at the clock and stressing over time. When is it coming? When are they coming? What's going on? Patience means you are in acceptance of where you are. You're loving life. You're living in the now. You are okay with where you are now. That's patience. Learning to dance in the rain. Learning to enjoy this moment fully because you'll never get it back. Living each day to the full. Not putting things off until tomorrow, what you can do today. Don't save that dress or that pair of shoes or that thing you've been saving for a rainy day. That day is today. Don't put it off and think I'll save that for a special occasion. Guess what? Today is that special occasion. Get out your best dress if you want to. Wear your pair of shoes. Wear your best coat. Whatever you feel you want to do today, do it. Don't think I'll save that for a special occasion because that's today. So I feel the angels are saying today is a special occasion. Celebrate the time of your life. Have the time of your life today. Enjoy things. You may even hear that song, Time of Your Life, by Dirty Dancing. So the message today is you have the support and you have as much time as you need. And you may need to hear that today. The support you may need is time because time is a healer. So you may be thinking, I want this now or I need this now or I want to talk to my person now. But time may be needed to bring in a healing, to align things to how they are truly meant to be, to bring things in in the exact right divine timing, which is always right for you and anyone else involved in your life. So let's bring in a card today. So what do we need to know today, please, angels? Again, look how they're jumping out. And I've also got a card moving on top. So the first message, and wow, this really resonates with what we've been talking about. Face your future with boldness and strength. Now, if you're feeling unsure about something uncertain because of timings or you don't know what's next or you're a little bit afraid of that, call on Archangel Michael. He is the angel of strength and power and he will walk with you wherever you go. He will move in front of you, removing obstacles, removing anything that's fear-based, helping you to remember your power and he will infuse you with boldness and strength. And Archangel Metatron will help you know you are safe and everything is in divine timing. So I'm really seeing surrender energy in this card. And look at that gorgeous little rainbow light. You protected, your journey is protected, your journey is in divine timing to protect you. As soon as you pray, you answer me. 
So again, this about if you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. And that's really what I'm feeling today. You have the support that you need. If you call on heaven, heaven will answer you. As soon as you pray, the angels answer. You encourage me by giving me strength. And this is a psalm. And this is 131383. So as soon as I pray, you answer me. This is you talking to heaven, Jesus, the angels, whoever you connect with God. You encourage me by giving me strength. So the angels will give you strength and they will encourage you through the signs and the synchronicities and the way they build you up inside. So if you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. Now, they're also giving me that number there, 138. Okay, I'm connected with that very clearly in this card. So if we go to angel numbers by Cal Gray, great book to just have lying around the house if you see an angel number. But you can always Google a number and see what the message is and how it resonates with you. Or ask the angels to show you what it means. One is about new beginnings. Three is about faith. And eight is about abundance and magic. So your angels and guides are encouraging you to forgive and release the past. So you can manifest a more fulfilling future. So you may need to forgive to face your future with boldness and strength. Forgiveness is a strength. When you forgive, it brings in power. And speak words of love, wow. So when you speak words of love, you bring in the support you need. In other words, affirmations. I'm also going to bring in my debt, romantic love, oracle and affirmations. Affirming today. I am safe, I am loved, I am supported. These are affirmations you can use. And speaking about your life and people in your life that you love with words of love. Because the tongue has power to harm or heal. So speak words of love out. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And this is Ephesians 6 to 10. So how you move out of ego and into power is by knowing that you are strong in faith. And in the Lord and his mighty power. In other words, there's a power above you that's greater than you. The universal power, heaven, God, the universe, whoever you connect with, whatever religion you are, you know that you have power from above. You get your power from within you and above you, your connection with source. So call on that today and speak words of love it. So let's bring in my debt, romantic love oracle and affirmations. What affirmations can you use today? to speak words of love, to infuse your life with power. We've got, I treat myself with love and care. And self-love is so powerful. When you're good to yourself, and the angel's saying, be good to yourself. When you're good to yourself, miracles manifest in your life. So you can affirm today, I treat myself with love and care. And when you treat yourself with love and care, people will treat you that way. Because what you give to yourself, you treat people and you show people how to treat you by the way you treat yourself and the way you care about you. And what you give out, you get back. When you treat people with love and care, they treat you the same. And don't forget, you know, if you are being triggered by someone or something or someone seems to be treating you badly, you're learning. You are learning to observe it, to understand it, to remember. If someone's hurting you, they are hurting the inside. Hurt people hurt people. So don't take it personally. Give to yourself everything that you crave or think you need from someone else. And you'll never feel the need for someone else to complete you or satisfy or fulfill you. Because you know that you get that from within you and above you. And if you are a twin flame, your twin is in you. You and your twin are one. So remember that. So be good to yourself today. Speak words of love. And face your future with boldness and strength by forgiving the past, praying for help and knowing you are supported. And anything you're confused about or worried about connecting with timings, your journey is safe. It's protected. It's in divine timing. And if you need more time today, call on Archangel Metatron to expand time for you. And you'll be amazed by the miracles he performs. If you feel you need more strength today, Archangel Michael will give that to you. Give you confidence and power to move forward. You may even see tigers today as a symbol of confidence and strength. But remember who you are and focus on peace. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.